Hi, uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is another episode of The Facts. This is called The Importance of Reality, uh, Part 2. I think the subtitle is Loneliness. Uh, I'm here tonight um, with Bern Nix, uh, Beth Griffith, and Andrew Bolotowski. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm doing these pieces about reality, the importance of reality, so that I won't live s so much in the past. Spending more time in the present will allow me, it will force me to develop my ideas, which um, will be um, a great pleasure, a great pleasure. Uh, it may be scary, but a pleasure.
You know how people use the term, I don't understand it, as a, as a, a metaphor for, I think it, they use it as a metaphor for, sometimes anyway, as a metaphor for this is really bad or I won't discuss it. I don't understand it. You know, like trying to understand something is, is, is characterized as accepting it. Um, uh, and I must remain strong to the pull of figuring that out. In this land of I'm figuring things out, I'm realistic. I'm, I, 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 I got a plan. I this is a plan, and I'm very big on fallback positions, but I don't have many. You know. Thank <laughs> you. 
sounds like a terrible, 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 terrible event. this thing about reality this this you know living in the importance of reality living in the moment you know it's another way of saying it i guess and 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 the importance of reality but the problem of 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 labeling what's real versus unreal is that it, you, you could, it's easy to get real rigid you know silly you know i mean i mean fantasies must be at least echoes of of, of one subconscious you know socialized echoes perhaps but but they're not Unreal, nothing's unreal. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, not not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know people who argue that my work should be more commercial, uh, easier for people to understand. And I find that curious because I think that the problem people have with it is that they do understand it. <laughs> they don't want to hear it. <laughs> so I said, <laughs> and then she and then I said, Artists need courage. And and uh, some of that kind of courage is, uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, it's difficult for all people, but there are particular difficulties for women because of the nature of the threats to their dignity and their safety. Um, you need courage and curiosity. skills to <laughs> Thank you.
have said yes. Cause that was a beautiful ring. Anoma. Send I. I don't know. Don't know. What I feel, I feel passionate to some. I've replenished. I have pictures of what my life would be like, and I've attempted and continue to attempt. You know, that's, I think that's dying with your boots on, <laughs> removing the barriers. Um, but these barriers are so, they're barriers. You know, they're not, they're not little or you'd move them easily.
I remember this uh, you know, lovely moment. I'm, I'm sure many of us have had this. This little girl, two-year-old little girl, was drawing a picture of me, and she said, "Do I'm going to put a bow in your hair? Should, should I put a bow in your hair?" And um, my goal with this music that we're making here is um, to tell the truth with nothing mm -hmm. extra. And let's just play this "Finding God." I'm 